going on over your ballots is now playing out as state leaders push for changes to voting laws. With reports of harassment and intimidation of voters and poll workers, Democrats called today for stiffer penalties. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh covering this for us. And Michael, Republicans are pushing for a variety of other changes. Right, this is going to be a major battle going into 2024, but it's not just what happens here at the General Assembly that could affect your vote. Especially in the most recent elections, local officials are worried about what they're seeing. Poll workers have been pushed. Observers have been aggressive. Democrats in the House and Senate on Wednesday called for various changes to the state's election laws. Some of those include expanded early voting hours, more funding for election offices, and stiffer penalties for harassing or intimidating voters and election officials. Attacks on our freedom to vote have persisted for decades. But after 2020, the attacks have only gotten more dangerous. During this year's legislative session, Republicans will try again to make some changes they've wanted for years, but have been vetoed by Democratic Governor Roy Cooper, who addressed the issue Monday night. Keep the freedom to vote in reach for every eligible voters. One bill Republicans are backing, called the Election Day Integrity Act, would make Election Day the deadline for mail-in ballots to arrive at county election offices, eliminating the three-day grace period allowed now. Election officials also would have to make data about the number of outstanding ballots easily available to the public. Every state tries to have a well-run, well-regulated election, um, and this is just a step in that direction. Democrats opposed similar legislation before, saying legitimate ballots could be thrown out. Once people know the deadline, they'll respond to it, just like they're responding to the current deadline. David McLennan is an expert on state politics at Meredith College. On this issue, he doubts Republicans would find any Democrats willing to vote with them. You might see the Democrats hold together on voting issues where they might not hold together on budget or abortion or a number of other key issues. The Republican majority on the state Supreme Court is also taking the unusual step of rehearing two major cases impacting voting rights that had already been decided when Democrats had the majority. Those hearings are going to happen next week and involve the state's voter ID law as well as how state lawmakers draw the electoral districts. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.